Good morning, everybody. Today we have the pleasure to having here in Misano Massimiliano Perry, who is the business director of Iveco Italy Market. Iveco has a cooperation with several biogas uh, supplier and transport operators too. Um, Iveco called them uh, Iveco uh, and biogas ambassadors. Uh, can you explain a little bit more your commitment in sustainability in this way? Yeah, uh, Iveco has been a sort of pioneer in alternative fuel. We started more than 25 years ago, so the first truck of gas we put on the road was in 1994. Now we have more than 40,000 vehicles running every day on the roads, European roads, which are fully compatible with biogas. Uh, we strongly believe in this technology because we strongly believe that this is completely carbon neutral. A recent study from uh, CNR, which is uh, the Italian uh, Central Research, uh, showed that uh, a vehicle, uh, heavy vehicles like this, uh, equipped with a uh, bioenergy engine, can be completely carbon neutral. Uh, so that's why we believe that uh, this solution is uh, ready to replace the diesel in any application. Last but not least, uh, this solution uh, guarantees the independence of uh, the fossil fuel. Alternative powertrain I made a lot of uh, progress uh, in the last few years. What are the main challenges of introducing alternative powertrain in the market, I mean in the real world? Yeah, so this decade has seen uh, the, the end of what we can call uh, the diesel monopoly, you know, which lasts more than 150 years. And we see on the roads uh, more and more often uh, uh, passenger cars with alternative fuel uh, engines, you know, from diesel, uh, sorry, from electric uh, to hybrid. Uh, and in the next future, we're going to see also something, uh, other fuels like uh, hydrogen. Of course, uh, now we are facing uh, a lot of challenges, you know. As I said, uh, the current uh, uh, status of diesel uh, will reach uh, where we are now after 150 years of development. Uh, which are the main challenges? First and foremost, of course, uh, the, what we call the TCO, the total cost of ownership, which currently is not uh, competitive okay. versus diesel one. And we know that the clients, uh, beside the ecology, needs also the economy. No, these two things must go together. Second point, of course, the refilling station. Currently, the refilling station are not, uh, the, the network uh, is not adequate to, to assist those kind of vehicles. Let's, let's not forget that, uh, you know, vehicles, heavy vehicles like uh, this one, no, vehicles that run with uh, 40 tons uh, full load, they need uh, a huge amount of energy. And uh, currently, you know, to store this uh, energy, we need, uh, we need uh, huge batteries, uh, which have a uh, huge weight, four or five tons, uh, and they require a huge amount of energy to be, to be filled. So, it is true that we are going this direction, no, we to do electrify, to decarbonize the transport, uh, there are still a lot of challenges to be fixed. First, infrastructure, and then, uh, last, um, is uh, very important, the total cost of ownership of those vehicles. Driver shortage is uh, one of the key issues today for, the, for a truck manufacturer. What are you doing to, uh, let me say, to ease this problem? Are you offering better uh, working and living condition in your trucks? What, what, what solution are you providing to the market? Yeah, I definitely confirm. It's not, today it's very hard to find uh, uh, drivers. Now we have a lot of clients that are seeking uh, drivers everywhere because of this, uh, this issue. And then also the age of the drivers is uh, getting older and older in Italy. As you said, what we are doing is uh, to produce the vehicles which are more and more comfortable. Today we have uh, on our back uh, our uh, flagship, no, the vehicle S-Way, which uh, has uh, an inside the cabin which is equivalent, uh, equivalent to a, a five-star hotel room. No, I'm sorry, all the comforts on one side, but also all the safety system on our another side, which guarantee the maximum safety of the, of the vehicle, of the drivers on the road. Second point, uh, what we are doing uh, is uh, to assist the driver with all devices uh, uh, that suggest the drivers how to better use these vehicles, how to optimize the performance of the vehicles. Last but not least, uh, last year with the introduction of S-Way, we also introduced the Alexa uh, device. That is, uh, it's a, a device, uh, of course it's a similar Alexa that we have uh, with the Amazon, where the driver, without the need to remove the, the, the hands from the steering wheel, can ask assistance while driving. From uh, knowing where is the closest parking, uh, to where is the closest uh, uh, petrol station, to where is the best restaurant to eat the best lasagna. <laughs> of course, uh, this is a joke apart. Uh, it's something which uh, improves uh, the level of safety of our vehicles. 
within the truck racing is uh, promoting an energy transition and we have uh, HVO biofuel. Uh, how do you see this uh, initiative? Yeah, of course uh, we, we uh, to say, uh, we strongly believe in this uh, move that the FAA did you know, because in the end uh, races since ever are a, a research development transition and uh, I do agree that you know, the race must be used as a as a uh, test camp to test the future solutions. Thank you for being here today and for this interview. Thank you so much. Thank you very much and uh, Forza Veco.